I'm going to go over a couple things due to the fact that I have uh, literally been noticing a lot of asylums that once was has also been uh, homeland for Native American Indians. And like I say, I'm a huge adventurer of Native American land, trying to find out any which way I can. And I'm going to say that this Waltham Macro Hill is a huge part of Native American Indians. Now I did look up and it did not say that it was, but in Waltham, mind you, right here, uh, Lingus, whatever that word is, Lingistic. Lingistic, distinctly, yeah. They were of Algonquin descent that came down from Canada. He explained over the last 50 years, Maloney said he's found close to 500 American Indian artifacts, about 350 of which came mostly from around his Summit Street home nearby. Prospect Hill Park. Indians like to make things out of rock and the best rock was usually found in higher places in area. Higher places in area where there's ledge excuse me uh, higher places in areas where there's ledge he said in our area that's Prospect Hill Park. Many of Maloney's pieces are on permanent display in glass cases. Dada? Hold on. A little interruption. Uh, Waltham Museum on Lexington Street is where all these artifacts were found. On a Waltham Museum is where, yeah, you can find the artifacts. But Prospect Hill Park. Ah, uh, yeah, leads me back to this. Hilly area. Now, something literally drew me out there the other day. I did go out there a while back because I was looking into the... I still got to get to that main building to the asylum that was out there. But this water tank is also out there in the walking paths near the, uh, and I believe they made it for the housing units. Well, not housing, but uh, townhouse complexes for the people that live there in the original asylum buildings, mind you. Uh, did I, I think I, right here is a video. Right here, I took a picture of this building this building is actually the actual building my father spent time in. I believe the left side was for girls, the right side was for boys. And as you can see, it, it kind of like anchors off, you know, on a slant. I did show this in another video, uh, which I'm going to go on Google Maps again. But uh, driving... I don't know what it made me go out there, but I started driving, driving, came out with a bunch of pictures, and uh, it is home of the Bentley University. Uh, these are pictures I took out there. I, I found this kind of very odd, but the first house is another identical window on the opposite side in this tree, but two windows near a friggin' chimney. <laughs> That I find kind of odd building house out there in uh, Waltham, but it was pretty neat. Couldn't get the you know full picture of it because of the tree was in the way, but <clears throat> of course there's these old train tracks here. I don't think that don't even uh, are in use no more, mind you. But that is one bizarre looking bridge that I've ever seen back in the 1800s. 
and you know being built like that in them days I mean it's very rare you see these full you know say so uh topped off bridges um of course this building is very old and that's the uh the second district court of eastern middlesex middlesex you know what else did i take a picture of i thought i took a picture of some rocks i did you know, i was doing some <laughs> google map pictures out there still a lot of old buildings out there yeah i didn't get them but i did drive through the area of this though and there was rocks and ledges near this damn area here Oops. and of course as you can see the rocks that are set here I'm sure them have been there since you know Indian dwelling maybe because Indians I believe use boulders and rocks to uh, map themselves out of places where they have been or you know traveling wise but i think there's something up in this hill rather than what i rather than uh i mean there, there was a lot of distinctive indian stuff and because i got that feeling something drawed me out there and i said screw it let me see what they say on google and sure and shit if a guy found 500 you know, artifacts of friggin', you know, yeah, Indian relics. I gotta just imagine what else is gonna be out there. I gotta get back into this story, too. Someone has commented me, uh, saying that, uh, actually, let me go over there, give a shout out to my boy, that Chow Hound B. Told me uh, the Johnson Massacre site is in the wrong position. Somehow he knows this. He uh, sent me some details here and I got to look into this. Uh, Johnson Lane Mass, the site is right here on the corner. Uh, I got to check that out. But there is something I haven't finished out there. And there is a lineup of this starting at a housing complex and I believe that was built I'm gonna say over Indian burial grounds for Christ's sakes because there's something haunting that area and I've been finding all this stuff the huge war and the Johnson massacre and everything and Carbuncle Pond Car Carbuncle Pond where I was at the high school all line up and I got to go through this again, do another mapping, because like I said, the wrong spot is supposed to be where I did my video, and they have a whole monument there. But literally, this guy is claiming that it is not there, and it's literally on the right, coming from uh, Auburn, the right side of the road on Johnson Lane, I guess. So I'm going to have to take a trip out there one day to check this out. And I'm going to do another map mapping on this. But uh, for, for whatever reasons, why people do that and change up things. But then again, look at that. If there are actual houses there, just imagine. And there's a Quabog uh, Road, Quabog Avenue, I believe. And that is all in the lineup. And they say houses on that, on Shadowlands, get haunted. Because of the Indians, I believe, that was everything that was there. All that land in Oxford was definitely a huge part of Indian dwellings. And the English took it from them. And that's what led to that Johnson Massacre. So, I mean, they must have took a lot more land. Like I say, in books it is written when they used to make deals with Indians... Oh, I'm going to walk three miles out and three miles back, and that's our land from you. We give you this, you give us three miles out and in for land. Now, rack that up, so say, three miles out, three miles in, and that's a lot of land. 
You don't know how much land they're taking three miles out and crossword, vertical, long, whatever. It's a lot of land. So, it's about to wonder why the lands are cursed, haunted. Like I say, I gotta go all back over this damn thing because now, like I said, all the way right over here on 395, looking to the left side from the 12 marker up there all the way down, I'm going to say the Webster. I believe all that land in there leads to Indians living. So, I got to do another thing on that. Let's get out there to uh, Macro Hill. I'm going to show you something. Zoom out a minute. All right here is the paths walking. But you have Beaver, Beaver Brook Reservation. Usually when you have reservations and you have um, conservation land, Indians once lived on that land and that's why it's so kept. Sometimes I don't know why they even, you know, save it and whatever. Keep it safe. Why not just build more condominiums and stuff, huh? Ruin it. You ruin everything else. You're stirring up the pot on everything else. Why not just go build on it? But this right here is, as you can see, all in this area. There's the Metropolitan State Hospital. There you have the uh, main building. And over here, the originals, there's the building I was speaking of that's, you know, boys to the right, girls to the left. My father spent time in that place. There's tunnels throughout this whole friggin' area. And, uh, I wouldn't recommend anybody trying to go through them. <laughs> I'm sure they got friggin' cameras in there now and everything, but I believe that they use them underground tunnels to do more torture and not let nobody see what they were doing if they were like visitors and stuff that come to the, that did come and see their family members that's why the tunnels are made so they can beat and kick and do whatever they want in the tunnel and you know get them to where they gotta get but my father claims he has gone through them tunnels and I don't even know and see where the brook is that he said that he came out of one tunnel could be over here, but was over here, I believe, maybe was once owned by the Porter Pond, by a farmer maybe, sold the land, now there's all houses there, but that's where I'm going and that's where I'm thinking, because there is a pond over here, say so, but my father, when he could even been down here for crying out loud, but he said he was in a brook. So Beaver Brook North, wherever the brook is, that's where he probably came out to. So I don't know if it's, oh, there's the, is that the brook? Yeah, there it is. There's the brook, Beaver Brook. So this golf course, also golf courses, housed Indians because of Tingsboro Mansion. Tingsboro, Jonathan Tingsboro, I believe, is the one who bought the golf course out there from an Indian and took it from him. That was an Indian island. So a lot of these golf courses also housed Indians. So all this land and, and coming up here to this, where we have a uh, macro hill, is where Indians used to come up on the hill and look across, you know, to other mountains and ranges across. That's probably what this was, but I guarantee you would find something in here hugely with Indians to find stuff. Bet you no one's ever even looked in this place. If they have, they didn't look hard enough because this is one huge grassed area, so. But that being said, I'm trying to find a damn tower. There's the rocks. This tower, I have something feeling to it. For some apparent reason, Something's drawing me to this tower. I'm trying to find a damn thing. And I want it, I think, this fall. I'm going out there because the ticks are bad this year. And 
Yeah, I ain't gonna have no luck going up there with ticks. Where the hell they go? No way. Oh man, I hope all. Oh, did I screen? God ah, damn it! I hope I screenshot that. Cause now, what the hell's going on? Where is? It? Oh, there it is. More in the woods. Right here. Something about this tower is drawing me to it. I know there's a tower in Vermont. And somehow these crazies got to the tower. But this looks... I don't know if this is an old farm tower. Like where grain was stored. A water tower. And I ain't gonna say it's a tower. You know, like people would go into. Like the one in Worcester I have up. But I'm looking maybe at a grain tower or a, I can't say a water tower. It could be, but the way the picture is, it's like, but something's drawn me to this damn thing. I know when I was out last time, I seen that thing sticking up over the hill, man. And I don't know, something drawed me out there and I just keep getting this feeling that I should go out here and investigate this. Like I say, I get this strong feeling. But now knowing that there's a lot more to do with Indians out there, I kind of figured why it's dragging me to it. So, And I would like to really get out here and figure out. But I think these paths are more or less, like I said, for the community over here to get out, you know, have a nice walk. Because this place is nice, man. You come in here, there's a friggin', yeah, you can see the swimming pool. I think they got a friggin' gym. You know, and everything. All these buildings have been remodeled, but all these buildings friggin' house friggin' mental patients. And, man, I just... I want to, but, yeah, I don't think I'd ever get anybody to talk about anything. But I would love to hear from people and what they hear in these buildings, man. Because my father said he was in this one and everything out back was for the more violent ones. But, you know, sometimes when you look at this stuff, and like I say, back in the day, these places looked like castles to me. And I don't know why they didn't, uh, you know, I don't know why they didn't use the beauties of the building you know, right now, of course, they look like modern day, but I could just, they are brick. And, uh, the bottom half's a brick. So, I mean, yeah, I don't know why they didn't use the beauty of it and make it so, you know, people would just oh live God. easy in these places. I'm bored. So, anyway, he's trying to do a little run by through here but not clear but you could see the bottom half brick and everything else is up is like refinished faced refaced some still have lots of bricks a lot of these asylums were made with bricks of course so no damage would happen you don't know who's gonna wreck through these things or but anyway something about this area man's got me and I gotta get out there. I gotta get by this tower. And like I said, I had a strong feeling that day, but I didn't have no time to go walking out there. It was a nice day, but I just had to take a little ride and ease my mind and yeah. But once I get out there, man, I'm gonna figure this out. But noticing that this place, right? There's a lot, a lot of talk about Indians, boy, right here. 500 American Indian artifacts. Just imagine what's still out there, especially near that asylum. That place, man, Indians. There's one I found, I think I did a video on, but Indians lived by it. The river was there. So, I mean, a lot of these asylums are built on friggin' Indian grounds too so just imagine how much burial is under there and I want to try and find the uh, oh, Metropolitan State Cemetery that 
is the question too. Because how many disturbed graves do you think there is that they moved to make this place a living status? Holy crap. It's about a wonder I'm getting pulled up there. There's something up there that wants me to find it, so. And I don't see nothing on the map stating anything about the cemetery. And when people then come claim, you know, their bodies or their lives or whatever, family members, they just threw them out with a number. So that's insane. The Tingsboro or the uh, Tewksbury Asylum. And see how they are buried right across the farm and everything and... You know, just left out there in the woods to decay with the friggin' nature. And who knows, even if their bodies still are there, how do you know that wasn't moved? It's insane. It's insane. But anyways, I wanted to share this. Till that next video, stay safe, take care, always believe. Because something's pulling me out there. And I tell you... When I get that friggin' gut feeling, I find something out.